Loneliness is a condition that has afflicted most of us at one time or another. It is painful in varying degrees from simple annoyance to overwhelming despair. Let us begin by defining what we mean by the term loneliness. One dictionary defines it as the state of being alone and feeling sad about it. It is a feeling of sadness or even anxiety that occurs when you want company. You might sit at home listening to depressing songs, or it could inspire you to go out and mingle with people. What does the Bible have to say about loneliness? Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says, Do not fear, for I am with you, do not be dismayed, for I am you God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Matt. 28 to 10 verse 20 says, And teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. You may be thinking, why is all this relevant today? The suicide rate has gone up alarmingly. People are frustrated, confused, and filled with despair. They can't see any way out of their misery. With all hope gone, they are desperate to end it all. They do not realize that there is a loving God who is waiting for them, to bless them, forgive them, and lead them to a life filled with love and joy. They are the harvest our Lord speaks about in Matt. 9:35-38. The harvest is plentiful but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest field. You might be thinking, I'm not an evangelist or a missionary so what good could I do? How do I know our Lord wants me to be involved? We don't have to leave our homes or businesses to be involved. We are all called to bring the message of salvation in the shed blood of Jesus Christ to the desperate world around us. Why don't we hear more about loneliness in our churches today? Many churches are faithful in proclaiming the true, complete gospel and we should thank our Lord for them. Unfortunately, there are many churches preaching a false gospel and the number of them seems to be growing. They preach that there are many ways to heaven. They preach that people don't want to hear about crosses, blood, stripes etc. They believe that, if we do more good than bad, a loving God will surely accept them when they die. They also believe that the true gospel is offensive to many people. The gospel was offensive to people in Jesus' day, as it is today. The question now is, how can I become involved? Why not go to the one who has the answer? During your quiet time with our Lord, ask him to show you his will. We all have different talents, backgrounds and abilities and our Lord can use them all. He will give you all you need to serve him and more. Everyday souls are dying in the white harvest because they have not heard the true gospel, so there is an urgency. You might say, I'll think about it. That is the same as saying no because, soon, other concerns crowd into our busy lives and it becomes life as usual. Make your commitment now. Step out in faith. With our Lord, all things are possible. Take action. Souls in the white harvest are waiting.